in regards to that last video, I was actually talking about not retiring and things like that and just still working. And people were kind of pissed off in the comments because they were like, what do you mean you're going to work if you hit the lottery? Exactly what the fuck I said. Like, again, a part-time job, I completely understand. But knowing, like, I have family members who are retired and bored, that's not me. That's not how I operate. So we can just start there, right? But ultimately, for me, I think the biggest hurdle would be trying to figure out how to, like, occupy my mind knowing that I have $290 million in the bank. Now, for a while, yeah, you're going to take off. You're going to take a year or two off to kind of, like, figure things out. You're going to go and do things. You're going to travel. You're going to see the world and stuff like that. But eventually, you're like, yo, like, I have to figure something out. I have to do something. So, yes, you're going to invest your money and not waste it. Don't go and buy, like, Dogecoin or something like that. I'm not saying that's a bad coin, but you know what I mean. Like, don't go BS and buying five Ferraris, buying all your friends and family homes and stuff like that because you got to pay taxes on that stuff now. You need to make the money work for you. For me, what I'm attempting to say is, yes, I'm going to work because, again, medical benefits on top of that, like start your own business and then run that business or hire your own family so they can work within that business, creating genera uh, generational wealth. You know what I mean? Like that's what I mean about still working. I'm not just gonna be, come like an onion <laughs> or what do you call that thing? Like just like, just become a veggie and just veg out and do absolutely nothing. No, like if I'm worth 292 million, I'm gonna make that money work for me. Me being a person of color, me being black, yeah, I wanna create generational wealth, but I'm not gonna waste the wealth that I got lucky on winning the Powerball and make a million by just going and doing lavish things and living the lifestyle and then be broken three to five years. That's not financially right, that's not conscious, that's it's irresponsible. So, yeah, when people are like, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't work, I absolutely fucking would. And that's the difference between people who want to work and want to prosper and thrive and people who are, like, playing to make a millions every day, hoping that they hit so they can just live scot-free. Newsflash, you're not living, like, scot-free at all. You're paying somebody. If it's not Uncle Sam, it's going to be somebody. Trust me, when I look at these NBA contracts and these NFL contracts, I'm like, oh, they're worth $550 million. You think they just get $550 million? Hell no. They have to pay Sam and Peter and Paul and James and Wendy and all of these people because they maintain a lifestyle not only for themselves, but for those people as well, because they keep their money stable. Again, like, let's be serious, people. Ultimately, man, you don't have to work. I would. So part-time, I'm not saying working at Chipotle or something, but whatever, either way, I'm going to find a way to continue to produce and be productive. That way, I'm good for the future. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But let me know, would you go and work if you hit the Powerball? Let me know in the comments. Peace, y'all.